Okay, in this scene, we're going to talk about the alpha glucosidase inhibitors, and it's going to be represented by this elephant that's glued to the ace. There's this elephant over here, and he's a little bit sad because he's glued to the ace. Elephant glued to the ace for alpha glucosidase. So what are the alpha glucosidase inhibitors? Well, that's represented by what's going on over here. We see this bus over here. Well, it's not any random bus. It's a bus car. There's a car coming out of the front of the bus. The car bus. Car bus for a carbose. A carbose is an alpha glucosidase inhibitor, as well as we see the mug over here. This is a very tall mug. The mug that's tall for miglitol. A carbose and miglitol are the alpha glucosidase inhibitors that we want to be aware of. So how do alpha glucosidase inhibitors work? Well, first, we see that they're flying over this dyed melon over here with the dyed beads in it. Dyed beads in the melon for diabetes mellitus. And there's a shoe sticking out over here for two. Shoe for two. Diabetes mellitus type two. Alpha glucosidase inhibitors are used in the treatment of diabetes mellitus type two. And they do that by, well, this elephant over here, you might have noticed was inside this brush. This reminds us of the intestinal brush border alpha glucosidases. This is where the alpha glucosidases are. So alpha glucosidase inhibitors will of course inhibit these enzymes. And this is what leads to the delayed carbohydrate hydrolysis and glucose absorption. Which leads to this random hyper C over here. You notice this hyper C? The hyper C that's gliding. The hyper gliding C for hyperglycemia. And he's going down. He's under the scene. He's going down for decreased prosprandial hyperglycemia. And this meal over here is to help us remember prosprandial. Okay, now let's talk about adverse effects. And that's represented by what's going on over here. We notice the liver over here and the kidney with the caution sign. This reminds us that alpha glucosidase inhibitors are not recommended if the kidney function is impaired, represented by the kidney over here and the caution sign, and also these drugs should be avoided in patients with hepatic impairment, as there are minor hepatotoxicities associated with these drugs. Finally, these liver and kidneys over here are flatulating. This reminds us of flatulence, as well as GI pain and diarrhea associated with the alpha glucosidase inhibitors. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on the alpha glucosidase inhibitors. Take care.